Hi, it's Travis here. I'm going to walk you through how to set up a ProctorU exam from a designer and faculty point of view. This is uh, a different process than the students are going to have to take to register for an exam on ProctorU. So we're going to start with uh, going to a web browser. Any web browser will do. Type in ProctorU.com. It's going to take you to the ProctorU landing page. The first thing you're going to do is click Login. All designers should be given a admin login. If you don't have an admin login, you're going to need to contact ProctorU and they will set you up with the admin login. So mine is Travis Lee Admin. Type in the password and click login. This is going to take you to the ProctorU landing page with a uh, little bit of information about what's going on at University of California Online Education. It's going to have all our exams here, as well as our instructors and terms and test takers. The first thing you want to do to set up a new exam is click Add New. From the drop-down menu, click Exam. It's going to take you to the exam page where you need to fill out a few fields. All right, so you can title the exam. I'm going to title mine Test. Test exam, spring 16. What you want to do is name your exam something descriptive that the students will be able to tell what it is immediately. For example, if it's a geography exam for the midterm in spring quarter, say Geo 04, midterm, spring 16. And that way students will know right away that that's the exam they need to take. Uh, department is actually going to be which UC campus it belongs to. We have a bunch of them here, so UC Berkeley, Davis, LA, Irvine, and so on. They have all the UCs here, so just click. I'm going to play tick, select UCLA because I happen to be sitting at UCLA right now. All right, then you're going to have to select a term uh, right over here, instructor. We have a list of instructors that have already set up exams in ProctorU over here, but if it's a new one, you got to pick other, and then you fill out the instructor's name. Um, Duration in minutes, uh, that's clear. Exam URL, they usually proctor only, ex they only proctor exams that are hosted in Canvas as a quiz generally. That's my, been my experience. It, they don't do paper exams ever. So it's got to be an online exam if you're going to, so it needs a URL. Oftentimes I'll have the uh, faculty put a password in there that protects the, uh, the exam from students who are not, uh, who, who are ready to take it, um, well, it protects the exam in general from people who are, shouldn't be in the exam from taking the exam. Because uh, th that way the faculty could release the password right before the exam. And it, it, that, that helps eliminate that likelihood of a, someone else taking the exam for you. All right. Uh, so you could just, uh, this information I, I don't think is necessary, but. Um, you could also have handwritten notes. So you select, do you tell the proctor you proctor what is allowed during the exam? So scientific calculator, iPhone, and so on. Most of this stuff is, is not going to be allowed during the exam. Once in a while, you have some scratch paper. All right, and bathroom breaks or other resources. So you need to decide what is allowed during the exam. All right, and then permitted browsers. Generally, our content should work on all of these four browsers but maybe I would uh, not select Internet Explorer, just to discourage if you have any elements in the exam that have like a, um, some interactivity or something like that, then you might want to think about eliminating IE. All right, so expect a number of test takers. Sometimes I just ask during the lecture, have the faculty ask during the lecture how many students are planning to take it. So you just need a rough estimate. This is where I put my information in uh, sometimes because sometimes the faculty is actually in the live exam and then you need you need to have someone outside that live exam to be able to answer questions immediately generally I put my name in here uh, they do contact me when the students are having issues so you could go ahead and fill out this field here with your information or sometimes the faculty if it's a fully online exam and they don't offer paper exam then you could fill the faculty's name out here and he or she can answer those uh, those emails or phone calls that are become that will be coming in if there's any issues with the test takers this is pretty important. The exam window. You need to let ProctorU know exactly when the test is available, uh, beginning from and till. Generally, you don't want to make the window too big because students sometimes will take the exam, take screenshots, or just share the exam uh, 
with other people, share the questions with other people. So you want to close that window down to about a day. Uh, sometimes I leave it open for a day, but that does uh, allow people, students who took the test early to talk to their friends and let them know that, you know, what questions are on the exam if they, if they decide to cheat. All right. And then you just submit to, for review. And it allow, it, the review takes about five minutes. Uh, I don't even know if it's a real person reviewing it. But uh, once you click submit for review, that that will go into review. And then about five minutes later, you'll get an email saying your, your exam has been processed. At that point, you want to double check all, all the fields and then uh, send the students to a tutorial explaining to them how, the step-by-step -step process on how to register for the exam. And that's in a different tutorial. So what you've just learned is from a... Uh, developer or designer point of view and the faculty point of view how to set up, set up an exam in ProctorU.